What's up, beautiful people? What's up, YouTube? What's up, family? What's up, friends? What's up, everyone that watches my videos? I would like to say I appreciate you guys. Um, appreciate, I appreciate you guys for the support and everything. Um, <laughs> I'm still here in Mississippi, Fulton, Mississippi. I'll be here until midnight. But, um, Man, I'm just sitting here in the truck, man. Got my windows down, enjoying the beautiful the the, the breeze here. That um that um the great father has blessed me to experience. But um as I said, I'm here in the truck, I'm still here in Fulton, Mississippi, but um listen to the music and everything. But um you guys know I was gonna I was gonna give you guys um the numbers. Uh, you know, the 6th of this month, I have been on the truck by myself six months. But I have been hired with Creek for eight months. Uh, I did two months on the trainer truck. Let me turn this radio down. As I said, I did two months on the trainer truck, but I've been out here by myself. I've been out here by myself six months. But um, I got the, I got, you know, I said I was gonna give you guys my numbers. I got the, um, the numbers here. Here's my trip book. This is where I keep all my trips. This is where I keep my, my pickup date, my drop date, my trip number, and the day I get paid or whatever. I keep all that stuff up in here. When I first started this book, I just start, I just wrote down the, the drop date, the pickup date, the trip number, and the miles that I ran in the day I get paid but I said now I'm gonna do start doing something a little different so three months into into um, driving it was, I started doing this in the month of December I started keeping tab of where I'm running that's basically what I start doing where I where I pick up where I drop I started keeping tab of all that stuff as you guys can see. But you know, everybody has their own niche out here. Everybody does things different. But um that's just something that I um that I've been doing. Um here lately, over the last couple of months, I can say where I've been running, I've been basically been running the Midwest Southeast and in the east the east a little bit not a lot of the east but a, a little bit you know i've been i like i can say you know when, when i whenever you're out here doing whenever you're otr your company driver you have to you have to find out what you like to do you know what i'm saying the areas that you like to run and all that stuff in the areas that i like to run they got me doing it or whatever i don't know i don't know if they if they um just you know read my mind or how I'm doing things out here but I like to run the Midwest and the Southeast region man um, you know it gets me the amount of miles that I need I, um, that I run or whatever and you know the scenery is real good for me um, I don't have anything against the West or nothing like that I just don't I don't I don't I, me personally I prefer not to run out there to California um, Arizona New Mexico um western texas um oregon washington you know wyoming utah places like that those those places like that those are bo that that's boring to me man i don't like those rides but um let's get straight to it guys like i said i got my numbers here um this disclaimer here these if you come over here to creek your numbers may be different from mine um this is strictly how i've been running you know what i'm saying and um uh, if you come to creek here the miles are here guys the miles are definitely here if you want to run you know what i'm saying over here they said there there's forced dispatch but in actuality it's not forced dispatch it's they they say if you got the hours to run a load or accept the low, accept the low. But it's it's another side to that. If the load does not make sense to you, you don't have to accept the load. 
let's say if you get a load, let's say if I was to, if if I had the hours to go pick up another load today and today is Friday and the load don't deliver until Monday at 3 p.m. and it's a let's say a 600 mile load by me knowing how to how to do my clock and all that stuff and I, I will look at my clock look at look at the hours that I have left on my uh, on my clock and I was like there's no way I'm gonna take that load like that so this is what I would do before I decline the load or accept the load it's 600 miles and it delivers Monday at 3 p.m. I will send this patch a message asking well if I can t-call that load repower repower that load or what well, t-call that load along the way and they will send me a message back they will probably say that where well, they're going to check and get with the planner and see what the planner says and they'll send me a message saying um yay or nay if they say no you have to uh they said no there's no way you can um t-call it so i send i send um my indication in saying that i don't want the load or whatever so i decline the load and they will send me a message back saying load cancellation are you guys following me you see what i'm saying on the part where there's none for dispatch if it's making sense accept the load if it's not making any sense don't accept it but you know you got these guys that are going to um these companies out here they are not learning they are, these trainers are not teaching you these type of things or whatever and uh like i said man over here at creek they got a good program um a good trainer program i was on the trainer truck for two months and um you know and besides me being on the trainer truck i was watching these youtube videos about the um the qualcomm and all that stuff how to operate how to do things i mean guys this stuff isn't um this stuff isn't rocket science, rocket science or anything like that it's basic man uh, uh, a 10 year old can learn this stuff learn how to do that qualcomm stuff but um damn hang now but um hey let me tell you guys about my numbers um i first got on this truck right here september of last year for the month of september huh yeah all right cool all right cool all right for the month of, there was a guy telling me that he's He's about to park in front of me. But um, for the month of September, that was this that was my first month um on this truck by myself. Um, I did a total miles of 8,314. That was in September. For October, I did 12,115 miles. It's a pretty good month compared to the month before. Uh, the month of November, I did 11,140 miles. The month of December, I did uh, 10,192 miles. The month of January, I did a total of 12,103 miles. The month of February, I did 11,324 miles. And this month right here of March, so far I have done 1,573 miles. As I said, if you come over here to Crete, your numbers may be different from mine, you know. But again, it goes back to me saying... If you want to run, you can run, guys. The, um, the miles are definitely here, man. Um, I don't have any complaints about the company. Um, they've been treating me pretty fair, and it's, it's, been, it's been everything has been pretty consistent, man. With the freight, man, the freight hasn't slowed down for me. You know, you got some guys out here that saying that freight is slow, freight is this, freight is that, man. Shit, I can't say that. Shit, I'm I'm constantly moving. I'm constantly moving, guys. I run every day, man. I got I got, you know, cause I got my clock set up to where I can run every day. You know, you got some guys that, that are out here that comes to, that that are at other companies that that say, well, man, um, man, I'm not getting the miles at this company. I'm not getting this. I'm not getting that. 
sometimes it's not the company guys sometimes is this right here you don't know how to operate this right here if you don't know how to operate that man yeah you you, you you're you're being you're kicking yourself in the butt man that's all i can say sometimes you need to look at yourself seeing what you're doing wrong and you know you got these guys that are out here that are going to these companies these companies where they're the training program is only about two to three weeks at a time man it's honestly in my opinion that's not enough time to learn anything man about you know how to maneuver the truck or all this other stuff that you should be aware of um just a bunch of stuff man you Two months, I think Creek has a great program, the great way way of doing their the way they set up the way their setup is here. Um, I think it's real good, man. But um, a lot of guys say, man, I don't think I can stay on the trainer truck. I don't think I can stay on the trainer truck for for two months. Well, that's I understand that. But here, while while being here when I was on the trainer truck, guys, I was getting paid. I got paid six hundred dollars a week. And um, I went home while I was on the trainer truck. I went home probably about two or three times. Two or three times. That's going home. That's not including me staying. I think I stayed in a motel while my trainer was at home. I stayed in a motel for about, I think I stayed in a motel twice. I stayed in the motel twice. So that goes to say, in actuality, you don't stay on the trainer truck for an entire eight weeks or whatever. So so if you guys are looking to come over here to Crete, um, if you want to know anything about the company or anything like that, I'm going to leave my email um, in the description box. And it'll be below this video here. But um, this guy... Guys, this video is approximately 12, 12 and a half minutes. Um, as I said, if you guys need to know anything, um, if you want to know anything about the company, feel free to um, give me a buzz or whatever. Now, another thing too, man, I want to add this to the um, to the video. It's a lot of drivers here, older drivers, that have been here at the company for, I'm talking about uh, hundreds of them. Crete has, Crete has a lot of drivers. It's a lot of guys that have been here at this company for 10 plus years, man. I'm talking about a lot of them. I wish I still had this, huh? Whenever I went to the um, Christmas party, they had a, um, what do they call those things? Uh, all, the, all the drivers that have been here for X amount of time. And it's a lot of people that's been here, <laughs> drivers that's been here 10 plus years, man. I'm talking about hundreds of them. But, um. Guys, I'm not going to ramble on too much. Um, you guys be safe out there, and um, I just want to share that with you guys. You guys be blessed.